What is up, YouTube? Hilly Billy here. Coming at you with, I think, is the fourth episode of getting GM with no gas. Um, yeah, it has to be a fourth episode since we already have 14 games. I play around four to five games an episode. So, if my math checks out, it's the fourth episode. We are currently in Diamond 2. Our MMR is at 4k flat. Now we're 14 and 0. Now we're looking to win more games with no gas. Hopefully it works out well. Oh, we found the game right away. Very nice. Very nice. Pillow fight. PBZ right away. Probably my favorite matchup for this challenge. And overall, that's kind of weird. Overall, I like really like PBZ. I seem to really like um, PBZ in this challenge because you just get to proxy four gateways. And, uh, that that brings joy to my heart. Got a micro some probes. Make sure we get the most efficient mining. Can't win without that. Finally here should be good. Listening to some uh, DMCA free classical music today. I definitely need to work on my playlist for DMCA free music. And definitely find better stuff than what I'm currently using. Gateways, here we go. We can afford the fourth one. We talked about this on the last episode where um, two gateways doesn't actually work that well. Or, I mean, three gateways doesn't well. You just you end up uh, floating. Four is a magic number. One pylon, and we're good to go. Don't need any more props now that we have 16. Man. I don't know how this keeps happening to me, but every time we uh, we did this four times so far, and three times it was a 12 pull. I definitely need to make a guide on how to hold 12 pull. <laughs> it does look majority of players on that level, which is where most players are, have to deal with 12 pull every game. Um, I think we can actually win. As you can see, I'm keep making probes. I think that's the only way. That was a little awkward on my side. I should have cancelled one of the gateways actually. Oh, he's going to take a third, that's a colossal mistake. Honestly, I'm not... There's no queen. Oh, I'm supply blocked. Like, honestly, I'm not even tripping. I just keep making zillot. I, I can outmass. I can outmass, I think. Like, there will be so many zillots, it wouldn't matter. I'll send one zillot at home. That's fine. If he keeps sending links to my base, that's perfectly fine with me. I can kill infinite amount of slow links. Oh, lucky him. Need to be careful with that zealots, yeah. Eventually, I'll, I'll mass it, I believe. Maybe I'm wasting a little too much time, but... Alright, 
Alright, let's just heal over here. Yeah, I mean, it's just four spines against like 20 zealots. Good luck with that, sir. Okay, he doesn't need damage luck, I guess. He's. I, I need to redo this. Oh, shit. Maybe we're getting too cocky here, bros. Well, it's still in 16 pro. Like, we have more. I don't. Still no gases, so I think eventually we break. It's just a little awkward, the Zillas, because they. I wasn't microing them, so I think a lot of them were just kind of. running around while doing nothing while two spies were attacking them. I think right about now we should be good to go. Because he has to keep making spines. Okay, that's kind of smart. For example, this one is just dead. Let's use. Iron okay. Chest. Just need to target individual drones. Alright, another win. Good job, Pili Pili. Okay, that's not cool. Wait, does he have a base somewhere? Alright, oh, there's no way he can afford it. I know he had a drone out at some point, but there's no freaking way. Maybe there is? What if he actually has a base somewhere? That would be quite embarrassing. But I feel like he's just being a dick. Yeah. Being like he is just being a dick. Because I remember uh, the very early game, he sent a drone to like his third base. Which he might have later used to expand. Oh, he does have a base. I guess it doesn't matter. What I was afraid to see is like fully saturated base with like mutas on the way or something. That would be quite a quite a fiasco, but didn't happen. We're getting promoted to what it looks as diamond one. Very nice. Good job, Pili Pili. But yeah, it's crazy. Four games uh, against Zerg so far, I believe, and three of them were 12th pull. Let's check ladders, race report. Yeah, we had four games against Zerg, and um, three of them were 12th pull. And two of them were 12th pull with a proxy hatch. Oh, those people are crazy, man. <clears throat> Alright, we got a game. Let's see who that is. There's uh, another Zerk. Lishi. Alright, well, let's see if that's a 12th pull again. And honestly, the only time I feel like that the game was the closest is when the guy went hatch first. But every person who went 12 pulls so far kind of got uh, kind of got destroyed, if you ask me. You know, the fact that it went 12 pull against the proxy two, uh, three gate or four gate, which should be a hard counter in my eyes, kind of adds salt to the injury for their losses. But um, I'm sure they'll be fine. I send the probe a little too late, my pawn is gonna be quite delayed. Maybe this is a better location for proxy, but I don't know what Diamond Zerg's overload patterns are, you know? All I know is that they're gonna send the first overload through the middle, and probably this is a little risky since overload can accidentally see it. They're probably sending it here. Keeping it here is the best. Three gates, gonna add the fourth and then we go go. Or we go with the probe, I guess, to scout. Alright. Gonna send it through a non suspicious pattern. Hatch first. Alright, it's not a 12th pull. 
see how fast the pool is. This is a fairly late gas, I would say. Not that it matters that much. I feel like that is nice. But uh, he doesn't need gas. I don't think in this situation he can only go roaches, I guess, but we know there's not going to be a link speed for a while. Oops, I made that pile a little too early. I don't think he knows. As long as I, I see that there's no spines going down, he doesn't know. The overload should be my natural by now, but... but oh, he's making drones, so... Those are where it's meant to be links. I feel like... He definitely did not want drones there. And usually you would go links even... Oh no, that's a drone as well. This guy is so dead. We just go. We ignore the main uh, natural. We don't care about natural. Just wanna go here. There's Roach Horn as well. This guy needs to migrate his queen, man. It's probably a spine on the natural if he, if he was fast enough, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. That's Fairly nice defense so far by him. No, 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 what are you guys doing? And he has roaches on the way. I might have bamboozled myself. Oh, he made links though. I'm not sure if he has money for roaches. Oh yeah, with, that, with this many links he definitely does not. I'm surprised, I feel like he could have gotten some roaches out, right? He has gas for like at least two or three of them. And then roaches can technically infinitely kite. This guy's micring his heart out, I like it. I don't think that's enough, though. unless all of this is roaches, which it's not. He has... he has 140 gas, that's what, 5 roaches? Almost 6? Definitely could have made some instead of uh, all those links. Roach Warner was done fairly early. But we take the win, we take the win. We need people to be making mistakes. And with builds like that, it, it, it's all about forcing your opponent to make mistakes because realistically those builds are not that good. Uh, but yeah, let's keep playing. PvP. Is that a Master League border? I think it totally is. It shows the MMR. I'm actually not too sure how that works, but I think that once people reach masters, it starts showing the MMR. Yeah, this guy must be about 4100, that's... Is that masters MMR? Because I feel like I'm 4100, I'm a little bit low masters on this account. But I don't know, I'm super out of touch with what... With what MMR means, what league. But it's a PvP on the submarine. Gonna do the classic Roxy 2 gate with a forge. See how it works. I really need to start losing some games. I feel like I need to lose with this build first of all. Because until I lose, I'm too lazy to actually like do a research and see how this build exactly is supposed to go down. And like how you can rush. But right now I'm just winging it and I do think that uh, it's a strong build, but I just need to know what I'm doing. But until I lose, I'm too lazy to actually do any research. Alright, so he knows what's up. No need to hide. And the second probe there. Oh, wow, okay. What do we do there? Oh no. This might be the worst case scenario, huh? 
Is this Zillis frame too? That's no, not. Oh, if I get four Zillits, I'm just afraid there will be some cannons in my base. Oh, no, 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 no supply box, please. Oh, no, 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 don't lose this bro, please. Can we just slay him? Oh, I'm messing up so hard. It's just uh, definitely a panic mode, huh? But let's just try to kill this cannon. Ooh, thank god he didn't fully wall. I think we win just because we can... Can we kill all the bullets? We need 400 mils, we need 400 mils. This is our goal right now, 400 mils. Oh, what? Man, I, I really wish this guy would play it out. Uh, I guess this cannon is like really far away. I guess 400 mils though, like you can make some cannons be aggressive, but... Damn. But yeah, I think I needed 400 mils, that way I can expand away. And then, because I, I can't, like... If he makes enough cannons here, I can never kill them with just zealots. And there's no micro potential, like, it's not like I can... Show up, do one hit, and back off. Legion shields doesn't work like that. Um, but yeah, I think I need four middles to expand away, and then uh, just make sure that he can do the same. But he could though. He could cannon rush there and then expand, and then it's back to square one. But we're not allowed to take gas, so it's a little awkward. And okay, we take that. Good job, Pili Pili. An interesting game. PVZ. 4300 MMR. We're starting to get people who are, you know, up there MMR wise. This is a 12th pole map though. I'm I'm wondering if I should veto this map. We should at some point we will have to have this talk where I have to figure out maps that I gotta veto because um submarine seems less than ideal. Because everyone's gonna cheese me. It's like a cheesy map it looks like on this MMR. Like, they're gonna cannon rush me and both pull me. And it's... As players get better, I'll have a harder and harder chance of... ...succeeding. Yeah, perhaps... I think Submarine is a map that has to go. Um, it's, it's not that bad of a map for cannon rush, I don't think. Gateway... Not a gateway. Hoping for the hatch first, obviously, but we have plenty of experience against 12 pulls. But as the MMR gets higher, the like Zerks will be much smarter about defending. But yeah, I should also be making. Uh, I'm very lazy about this, but I should be making second pylon here. Protect my gateways in case he ever tries to depower. Sixteen probes, perfecto. Let's see what's good. That looks like a hatch first. It is. All right, hatch first. Overlook is kind of going, but it's not going to see. This map is very short, though. The overlook gets in my base really fast. You might know that I'm on one base fairly soon. I try to distract him. One of the things I can do, just attack his drones. That way he's not looking at my base or something. Come on, dude. Very scary probe in your base. You better react. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah, he's making spines. He knows, he knows, he knows. He's just one spine, though. He needs more. Okay. This. Some lens as well. We need to cancel at least one spine. That's a kill, that's not even a cancel. We can totally fight this, holy shit. Okay, we can cancel this fight too. <laughs> this music is like so inspirational. You too can wake up at 4 in the morning 
And Proxy 4 gets Ursa Ladder. You too can get the Master League. I'm hyped. Damn. <laughs> this guy is having a rough time. Definitely having a rough time. Alright, well, keeping our win streak going. Let's do uh, one last game, I think. We are at 18 wins, so we played four games. Let's finish at five. But uh, very nicely so far. I actually didn't look at the, how close we are to. Uh... Oh, it doesn't show anymore. I can't do this. Um, yeah, I don't know how close we are to, uh, to Masters and so on, but maybe we'll get a promotion here. <coughs> All right. We got a PVP. We uh we didn't get a single PVT today, so uh, perhaps that's a reason we haven't lost yet. But let's let's not get uh, too cocky yet. Still have to beat this guy. Protoss players are very good against uh, cheeses because we get cheesed a lot all the time, and we cheese ourselves so. Have a lot of experience, <clears throat> so maybe this guy will have a perfect response. Response, rather. So going for two gamers and a cannon rush. I think we send another probe, I'm not sure. Oh, this is a... Oh, what? I think this guy just doesn't... Does he not... He sees us though, 100%. Uh, well, he, he needs to attack the cannon, hello? Hello? This guy has no idea where he's in. Oh, wait, I can make a pile on there? That looked impossible. It's three probes attacking, which is enough. Oh, I didn't I lost, but it's not enough in this situation. It's, uh, the cannon is almost finished. <laughs> I just said that Burbos players should know how to deal with this stuff, but this guy does look like it's the first time he sees his build. Maybe he was just distracted by, I don't know, a cat walking his keyboard. Because he saw that pylon, I'm pretty sure, and he just decided to never react. Docker is out, but... Uh, unless he can get a Voyager out, which is usually how you hold this. At, at least how I hold it. I can fight like this all day. Good job, Billy Pity. Yeah, this guy did not put up much of a fight. And we did get the Masters. Just like that. Just like that. Some people uh, try very hard to get to this MR and uh, we got there. Brand new account. 19 games. 19 to 0. Masters promotion. Gas was only taken once. And only to kill uh, floating buildings on the very first game. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're still far from GM, but this is nice. We're at 4300 MMR, uh, mind you, which is uh, not that far from an AGM. It's only, uh, yeah, seven, uh, 5k is required, so it's what, 700 something? Um, there in no time, I believe, I believe. But that is it. that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, 
uh, we're pushing uh, to get the YouTube partnership or whatever that is, which requires um, uh, 1,000 subscribers and a lot of hours watched. If you guys uh, enjoyed this episode, make sure to go check out other episodes as well. As well as my other series, which is getting 6k MMR in Korea. Where we are also in the early stages as of now. But eventually we'll, um, we'll be in the hard part of the challenge. And we're slowly getting to the hard part of the challenge on this account as well. And uh, yep, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.